Yes. Is a button check? Ooh. Doesn't yeah. appear to be a button check. No, this okay. is not a button check. Like we're, we're right into it. We've got Crescent Monkey on Falcon and Jutan's on School Hurdle. Right now, they're just waiting each other out to get a lagging move. Now, Crescent Monkey has been getting a lot of down airs in this stock. And I think that's because Squirtle is very good at crouching below a lot of Falcon's moves. It can make this uh, matchup a little frustrating from Falcon's side sometimes. Oh, oh excellent move from Crescent Monkey. Yeah, that was a nice conversion off the gentleman. So Ju Chan is going to try, going to need to try something different here if he wants to be able to get in. I, think, I feel like Crescent is walling him out really well. Yeah. In way. Well, I think I think uh, Crescent's just like coming in and out of his range. He's staying in, he's thrown out one of these down airs or neutral airs, and then he's just running away again if, they d if it doesn't hit. Right, yeah, see, like, as soon as yeah, he just dashes away. Oh, that was a strange choice. Uh, Did it work? <laughs> he, go he goes for a read on his, uh, his get up, but misses it. Alright, up throw knee. Yep. Alright. Crescent oh. Monkey doing these clean box grabbing. trots that he's known for. I think Crescent's really wanting him to just come in with a forward B so he can punish it with a knee. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got it still a pretty even even game currently. Crescent Monkey with a slight percent lead. Yeah. But nothing that um, nothing that he can't stand for back. And yeah. just as you're saying that, uh, yeah. <laughs> Crescent Monkey gets a nice half a stock lead, but that's not first, much of know. a lead. <laughs> He gets that dash dance grab. Throw. He's getting some throw follow ups. Ooh. Ooh, that's a turnaround. Nice. Yeah. The squir what's that called? The squirtle turnaround. Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Chat, put it in. Put it in the chat. What's Squirtle's turnaround what's called? Squirtle's turnaround. Ooh, excellent there. By Ju Chance, confirming that kill. Uh, Crest has still got an 86% lead. But if Ju Chance could do something like that again easily bring this back. Yeah, this is one grab away from Juchan's stock being gone, but he has a chance to put some work in on Crescent Monkey's stock. Especially with the shield pressure on that Falcon's down, a oh my goodness. Falcon's a very gimpable character. I, I think Juchan's needs to put a little more work in off stage, and that would make this matchup a little more, e a little easier. Ooh, excellent yeah. decision. Excellent read, read, read with that up tilt on the uh, ledge jet up. Juchan's that unfortunate tournament winner. All right, he might be able to get this again. That forward throw to dash attack, get him off stage. Get some percent up. And we're back to this half stock deficit that we've been seeing. One very safe approach I'm finding that Juchain's doing a lot is the down tilt approach. Um, I think he's doing it out of the forward B before he's yeah. sliding a little bit with it. Yeah, you remember how I was saying um, when Squirtle crouches, he can go below a lot. Oh, Crescent Monkey. Calm down, son. Alright, game one goes clean Crescent in. Monkey. Oh my goodness. I rarely ever see those. <laughs> I more so see them with Ganon, although it's like the... It's like he has these with it though, cool. you know? Yeah, All but right. you remember how I was saying um, Squirtle has that crouch? That's what that down tilt is. That's where that down okay. tilt really shines. He can sit there and just down tilt under um, Falcon's jab, under Falcon's uh, grab. He can uh, he can shut down a few of Falcon's approaches with that crouch. Okay. So then really I, I see why Juchan is be utilizing that. Okay. Uh, well, we're in the second match now, and uh, currently it's about an even game. Juchan with a slight percent uh, loss. But Crescent okay. Monkey took game one. So yes. Oh, that was strange. It was a fairly close match, though. See, like he just right. wants he just wants him to come down uh, with the forward B yeah. so that he can just punch I, it in I think uh right. yeah, I think Ju Chains is fishing a little hard with that side yeah. B. He's uh play a little smarter if he wants to uh pull this match back. Okay. We've got a clean stock lead from Crescent Monkey. Stop. See, every reverse, single time Juchan is the forward He's B Crescent's setting ready to out. respond. Yeah. These two players also know each other very well. They play a lot with each other, so Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure uh, Crescent Monkey goes to the uh, to this the oh. Friday event at a uh, college park, and they play there. 
Alright, with uh, all the support of wave dash options as well, it might be an interesting choice if Two Chains tries to utilize that more as an approach than forward B. Right? And I, th I just think it's hard to get in on yeah. Captain Falcon as a whole. Ooh. Oh, a good down, down air from Crescent Monkey. That was really safe. He went he went in the space where the hitbox from from Squirtle's up B couldn't connect on him. Very good decision making. Uh, see, he crouched below that grab, and then he got a uh, down smash. So, uh, Drew Chain's utilizing that crouch. He, get, he gets spaded out with that side Ooh, B. Chris barely Monkey. missed the knee. Gets a stomp and then misses the knee. Unfortunate Ooh, for him. That tech read. Yeah, up throw knee. Doesn't kill, but, I mean, that's good percent. It's guaranteed. What we see right now is Crescent just being super patient. It's like he's got the stock lead, so he doesn't need to overcommit to anything. He's uh, playing it safe. Yeah. Make sure he maintains it. Crescent Monkey, despite being a Falcon player, he's very, very patient. He doesn't play the typical rushdown that you see from a lot of Falcon players. He plays a. Uh, he sits back and dash dances and fox trots and waits for you to make mistakes. Ooh, that back here will take that stock. Two chains down, two stocks, but. We've seen bigger comebacks before, so there we go. All right, you get, he takes that stock real quick, and now we have a clean one stock lead for Crescent Monkey. And Jew Chain's not wanting to leave this ledge. Crescent Monkey Which says, actually, I don't care. Yeah, I'm actually wondering why he's sticking to the ledge so much. Because he needs to gimp him. Oh, okay, I see. It, what he's doing is smart, but Crescent Monkey's also being so he's smart. he's catching on to it. Why like not? I said, he's got the lead, so he's just playing patient, not overcoming to it. Yeah. Well, that too. He's a very patient player in general. Now, Ju Chains. Oh, he really needed that back yeah. air to hit the opposite way. It would have been optimal, but, I mean, he hasn't been touched. He's still converting off of this one he's hit that he got. Back. I forgot what he did, but I think it was, like, oh. a grab that got Crescent Monkey. Can he make Crescent it back? Oh, Crescent. Crescent. Oh, oh, he should have had ledge there. He had that stock. He and needed that. Is the kill right, throw? This might no. be, oh, I thought that would be the down throw. Squirtle still has the kill throw, right? Yeah, he does. Okay. It's very strong. Oh, Crescent Monkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw just, that coming. <laughs> he's sitting there crouching. It's like, yeah. what do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very See, nice. And Ju Chains, just like that, what we were saying earlier. Huh? We got Ju Chains coming back here. Ain't no thing. Yeah, and I think I think he does need a gimp on this Ooh. stock though. I don't see him doing uh oh. yeah. down up throw up air. That's the set. And Crescent will take that game. 2-0.